hundreds of millions of songs, one for every moment. With Amazon Music Unlimited. For a limited time only, sign up today and receive three months for 99 cents at Amazon.com slash Music Unlimited. Automatically renewed. Cancel anytime. Welcome to ESPN Cleveland Prime Time on ESPN Xfinity WJNR, presented by Hard Rock Roxino Northfield Park, Vegas Experience, Ohio Address. Now, here are your hosts, Aaron Goldhammer and Gerard Carey. Good afternoon, everybody. We are live at Universal Windows Trek Studios. Good afternoon, and uh, on happy holidays. On ESPN 850 WKNR. This is ESPN Cleveland Primetime. We are presented by Hard Rock Roxino, Northville Park, Vegas Casino, Ohio Address. My name is Aaron Goldhammer. Gerard Cherry is here, and we are recapping yet another Browns disappointment. Uh, they got crushed today, 27 to 10 at the hands of the Baltimore Ravens. The Browns are 0 and 14. Gerard, they're 1 and 29 in the last two years. Uh, I'm just going to keep keeping track of this because these are historic numbers of losing that are just staggering to even consider. They're 4-47 four and 47 in their last 51 games. The Browns are 4-47 four and 47 in their last 51. It's amazing they have a fan. Joe Flacco is 17-2 in his career against the Browns. Joe Flacco's not even really that good. Hey, 17 to 2. Well, I should say he's not that good. Against the Browns. I, I, there was never probably a point in his career where Joe Flacco was one of the top seven quarterbacks in the NFL, if you go back and look at it. But he's 17 to 2 against the Browns in his career. Um, Gerard is, is just staggering and disappointing. We knew they were going to lose today, but they do it with four turnovers and all that. And just, it's just, it, as a fan, it's really hard to watch. You didn't share with us, what you said with me. That was off the line. Yeah. What? They don't even remember. That said Flacco's not down even in the yard. They're giving the good quarterback to be 19 and up that drive. True. <laughs> if Tom Brady was in your division, he'd have never lost a bit of us. I think he'd get in his entire career. Um, Gerard, I, I, you know, it's worth the point now where I don't know what more we can really say. So all you can say is the problem. They play hard. I like to hear that going on everybody's lap. I'm sick of that, and it's a horrible thing. You know, just, the announcers on the broadcast do that every week. Right. You, know, you guys, they're getting paid millions of dollars to play hard. Okay? If they were quitting, everybody would be fired already. They're too young to know the difference. I don't care that they're 4-47 four in their last 51 games. Shut up with the play hard. Okay? <laughs> Earth to every producer in television. <laughs> Shut up with the Browns play hard. Makes me want to take the TV and throw it out the window. This is professional football. They're 4-47 four in the last 51. Stop throwing bouquets because you like Hugh Jackson as a person. It's ridiculous. Well, you know the drama that they under, man. It's a situation where they have to go meet with the Browns next week, so they're going to put their pleasantries on. But you are right. Saying it time and time again that this team plays hard, doesn't get to the nuts and bolts of the situation. And that's the bolts of the situation is what Dorothy said this past week, and that is that they don't have players out there. When you're playing hard to a consistent level and you're still not getting the job done, that just speaks that you are not good enough. So I'm starting to come to the term and the conclusion of the fact that they're just not good enough in accepting that. Because I'm totally the guy who believes that effort can beat talent. But I guess in this case, it does not apply. So there you have it. I'm going to finally have to bury one of my sentiments behind Ben Rock Killer's statements and feeling of that if you are a talented player, you don't play hard, a guy who's not that talented, you play hard. It's not the case. Yeah, he's the, the addict is Gerard on any given Sunday. Anybody could be anybody, right? It's very cool. Oh, there it is. Sunday to the Sunday, right? On any given Sunday, unless you're the Cleveland Browns. Anybody can beat anybody. Okay. Yeah, be fair. Oh, and if we're just Jimmy and me, if you're listening, if we're just scoring at home, 0 and 14, 1 and 29, 4 and 47 in their last 51. To the question, everybody is going to want to try to find the answer to uh, uh, is whether you guys is going to get canned at the end of the season. He is auditioning for John Dorsey. We heard the comments from Dorsey throughout the course of the week, of course, with us. And then he's making an interview on the SBN 850 and KNR. But where are you at today? Did you help his cause, hurt his cause, or do nothing to change whether or not he's going to come back next year? 
He did nothing to change whether or not he's going to come back next year. But one of the things I will say that I noticed from your interview with Dorothy in particular is that he's never made the statement he's a good coach. He said he's a good man and things of that nature. And he said the same thing about Sidney Brown. But if you're not describing what he does for a living for your major that sport, that is Jimmy and D. Haslam, and just say those things like about a character, that doesn't bode well for you. But again, you saw the mistake. You saw what the job is. You can't put that on you. You could say, well, if you watch and make poor decisions, then you could be like, look, man, week to week to week, you are in the meeting with the youth talk. He tells the shot, you can't make that decision. And when he gets the end zone, the last interception, there is no excuse for that. Simple enough, touch on the ball, one, get in the crook, cr and three, or two, rather, you got to throw that out of the end zone. It's really that simple. So those things you can't pin on you. You can't pin on you either. Uh, uh, you're all going to tackle, get beat, and then the shot getting hit from behind. That can't be a pin on you. Deciding to throw first and ten from your own three yard line. Well, that you can pin on you. Who's turnover prone? I can pin on that you. Can. Okay. So that there are some of these that I can spin back on. Brad, I thought he heard his case today. Really? I, thought, I did. I thought the game plan. You came out. You had negative twelve passing yards midway through the second quarter. Okay. I, I don't. I don't know what anybody's standards <laughs> even are here. But you know what? I don't know what that offensive game plan was, but it, it was toilet water. It was horse manure. They gave him. Really, five or some yards last week via the air. So that's why he's thinking of himself as he was an awful pass defense, but we're going to pass the ball at not. So that's why he did that. So I get the understanding, I get the rationale, rather, of why he was. But the that. question, Gerard, is did it work? No. no. This Tiger was, I think there was a point where he was three for seven for negative 12 yards midway through the second quarter. I've never seen a guy. The Browns scored a touchdown, and their longest pass had gone for minus one yard. I've never seen that before in the NFL from some quote-unquote quarterback whisperer or guru. What a disgrace the Browns' offensive performance was in the first half. Deshaun Kaiser, three turnovers by himself, including a fumble that got recovered for a touchdown. Right. A bad interception where he didn't see the safety coming across. And then a bizarre lob into triple cover right. in the end zone right. when a field goal would have helped you the whole argument that Kaiser is improving, that's the other narrative that I'm throwing out of you this season, too. <laughs> that Deshaun Kaiser is playing worse than he did at the beginning of the season. Oh, God. It, he is. Buddy, you know when he plays better? When he plays against worse defense. That's the only... That's fair. That's the only point at which you can start to see quote-unquote growth and development. Well, one of the 